I'll clear the night of in chair represent fish. Yeah, I mean, I can't sex with us. UTG Uptown Gaza. I don't hear. I don't hear as a man that has been sending songs. Like, we all know that there are songs directed at you. Um, we, he hasn't named your name or anything like that. But um, you get a lot of people speculating, like, if Cartel's ever going to um, come clash back. And I saw a tweet the other day that you made where you said that you don't answer no one because when you were bussing you never ask you never call up no man's name to bus so like what's going what's going on with the whole idonia situation is is that ever gonna uh, idonia, he's got he's got smoke on his home and he's 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 stopping the shot you know what i mean and he's a conceal child so because one minute he was saying i damn that he's a liar and the next minute he's out of a liar and the next minute he's in a liar and now he's out of a liar and so it works at everyone and anyone so He's just a strong man grabbing us that straw. And why does God want me that straw? You know what I mean? So if he wants to be like me, successful, you know what I mean? Have a lot of businesses, own a lot of land and houses, a lot of buying cars. He got to just put in the work. Okay. Because where did that breakdown come about? Because obviously, as you said, he, uh, when was it? 2007, he said, no, 2006, sorry, on After Dark, he said, Adi, I'm yeah. daddy. Like, and yeah. I mean, like, there wasn't like a a point where I can think, raw, you know what, I can kind of see where them two went off in separate directions. Like, what happened there? Where where did the breakdown come? Well, he, he, well he, the first time he stopped rolling with Vibes Cartel was when um, a little thing went down and we were interviewed by, by, by Kingfish, Operation Kingfish. Yeah. We used some pictures that were taken. Yeah, and that's when he started drifting away, so... It's very funny to see um, a punk like him really showing words of vice cartel in general. But as I said before, I wouldn't even give him the time of day. You know what I mean? He had to just work on his own career and build his own success. The way vice cartel did it from, from the ground up. You know what I mean? And not buying it renovated as, 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 Rick, as Rick Ross said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear that. And um, Busy Signal, um, he's another one that you've had problems with. Um, well, I've spoken to him, and he said that he's willing to work with... Well, it was more about Idonia still, but he said that he's willing to work as long as the song's on um, a level that he can appreciate and thinks, yeah, this is within my style. Like, will you two ever work? No, I would never work with you, because I understand he's a shadow of what's He's He's like... Uh, a machine phone, that's so to speak. He has assassin's voice and he has vice cartel's glow. So for that, he's, he's a fake also. So I would never work with you with signal. Next person. Um, Mataran. What's mm-hmm. the situation between you two? Because obviously you done the song on Stevens written the other day. Winnings, you done um, um, and people are saying, right, he's throwing words after you. Like... Is is there anything there? It's funny. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's showing words at Vice Cartel. You know what I mean? That's why I did the dance on your song because if it was not for Vice Cartel, then none of them would have anything to DJ about. That's what I'm saying. Mm. If Vice Cartel didn't sing them in mind, I'm not giving them the time of saying and just my songs. Example, if I was to DJ you know about cell phones, they would DJ about landlines. If I was to DJ about Facebook, they would DJ about text messages. So they are just waiting on something to vice cartel to do or say to make a song. Mm. So, but that, I, would, I wouldn't give them the time of say that. They are just feeding off my energy. But they are, they are reading it the wrong way because when they do that, I'm the only one getting all of the fame and the glory. I'm the one getting the big money for shows. I'm the one closing all the shows. I'm the one beat songs. So, you know what I mean? I'm the one enjoying my success. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. And a lot of these artists, they are confused right now and hungry because they lose their visa. Well, my visa was taken five years ago, and I managed to build an empire in Jamaica and tour the rest of the world. You know what I mean? Buy me houses, buy my land wide. Mm. Open a, a, a factory employing Jamaicans, paying my taxes. You know what I mean? So, and while they are just hungry and just suffering, so they have to just be um, living our vice versa's energy. And I like it, you know what I mean? It's good to be on top. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But one person that I wouldn't say has been throwing words, and he's not really someone that we're used to in in as an artist. I mean, he's come out this year as an artist. But Stephen, like, I've spoken to Stephen, so I know exactly what's happened and whatnot, whatnot. But 
Like, will that situation get sorted to a point where you can... Because, I mean, you, you did dump a truck on, on smoking, which was a rhythm that he built, that I know Chrome produced, but he built, and, like, you get a hit off of it. Like, will we see that link come back again? No, because you have to understand that uh, a lot of people in this business are very ungrateful. I was the one who really brought him in and so, gave him the exposure when he was wearing his school uniform. That's why in this song I say, see, but what does I know because he was 16? You know what I mean? So, and he, he, he's a person who came into the business. His father tried to corrupt him as his father is a person in the business a long time. Who wants to come with this 70s, 80s style where they can um, try to con artists and shake artists out of, out of their rightful royalty slash publishing. I've got a little business man and I own all of my work, you know. So I can work with somebody who wants to own all of my work also. Two people can read in a one thing. You know what I mean? So why is God just will be his own bull in his own tent with a string of peppers? Um and finally on that section there Killer and Cartel. Will we ever see Killer and Cartel sort out their differences get on the stage one time because I mean you you squash the beef and everything like that in public with, with, with most people that well that we care about really but like will we see Killer and Carter? Uh, no no well, you don't know regardless of what Bounty Killer has to say about Rice Carter you don't know what Bounty Killer really bring Rice Carter to the forefront so we always big up Bounty Killer so he can say what he wants about me he can do whatever he wants you know what I mean? We don't understand Bounty Killer anymore. You know what I mean? That's the same thing that he's Bounty Killer and he brought my scars to the, to the game, so... You know what I mean? And that is the issue that can't change. You know what I mean? So you reckon you owe, you owe him for that kind of thing? Uh, definitely, you know, because... Uh, probably I would have lost without Bounty Killer, but who knows? Mm. You know what I mean? So for that, you have to be grateful. You know what I mean? So do you have any bad feelings towards him? No, man. Even when I did all those songs, I have no bad feelings towards Bounty Killer. You know what I mean? Bounty Killer is just Bounty Killer. I know about Bounty Killer. It's the Bounty Killer that you know from um, 1991. It's the same Bounty Killer now. He just helps me and, and just towards him, please. So I wasn't surprised at anything Bounty Killer did or said about my scratch when I left the alliance. And I'm going to either see music to defend myself because my cartel is no punk. You know what I mean? Whether in the music or out of the music. But my cartel is going to kill us, it's going to kill us. We have to pick him up because he really brings my cartel to the, the, the exposure of certain way. You know what I mean? Straight up. Can't deny that. Yeah, okay then. And um, another one that you spoke about earlier that you, um, you rate is Ninja Man. Do you regret that incident that happened at Sting? Yeah, man, because Ross Scott was trying so hard to prove that he's better than Ninja Man, he's better than Ninja Man. That, that, you know what I mean, Ross Scott really jumped out of character and really did something very stupid. You know what I mean, and, and, and regretful, you know what I mean, because you don't know how the original multi son keep going from the tanga and when Ross Scott grew up admiring, adoring, idolizing. You know what I mean? So that is, I would say that is one of the only things that Vice Cartel did in the business where I would say I was, I, I, was, I felt, you know what I mean, very bad about. Yeah, okay then. I hear that. Um, um, the cake soap, that's getting a lot of talk at the moment. We know controversy sells and everything like that, so we have to talk about it. That's my theory, I told you already. Say again? Controversy is my middle name. I told you that already. Yeah, yeah. So, so what's the reason behind the cake soap? Well, the people are saying, remember I did it in a song with Russian in Straight Jeans and Fitted. It was a line. Yeah. Where I said, can anybody watch me like a stage show? And I said, teacher, oh, your face so cool. I can watch a piece of the cake soap. So, so what, what, what does it use? Because, I mean, people are saying that you look a bit different compared to what you did back in the day. Hello? Uh, thank you guys, I was going to answer. Hold on. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Yo. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so sorry, yeah, the... Co- 
That's why I don't work with music signal. You see what he does? <laughs> The, the cake soap, people saying that you're, as you said, how my face sold, like, what's the reason behind using the cake soap? Well, that is, that is the point, you know, man. I told you that my Scott is not just anything that he wants because I'm our own big man. That's for the same reason why I put on braces. Nothing is wrong with my teeth in my eyes, why I just put on braces for style. So I just use the, the quote and quote, the cake soap for style. And I think it was going to bring a lot of controversy. But as I said, I need money from controversy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because when I did, when people was, you know, kind of stuff about the cake soap, I did a song about it. The song is on iTunes, the song is selling. Vice Scott is doing dub plates, Vice Scott is doing stage shows. So, I just make money off normal people because they have a member, you know. Great minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, and small minds discuss people. So, I just make money off people discussing pizza. You know what I mean? So that's why I say controversy is my middle name. And I, I don't do anything by accident. I, I plan everything, everything is precise, everything is concise. Okay, I hear that. Um, and as you say, like, apart from just making money from music, you have, like, many ventures. Like, is, can you, like, shed a bit of, like... Many, 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 many. I've got supreme ventures, like, on the gaming company, man. I've got many ventures, right? Yeah, because that's a good look, because, I mean, there aren't many... Don't so that I can think of anyway that do have like different ventures where they're selling their self as a brand. I mean, you have it in the hip hop world, but it never really has crossed over into the dance world. Like obviously, how you use it yourself. So, um, what kind of things do you have? Because I know you Street Vibes First Day is like the best club night in Jamaica. I tell anyone and I tell everyone that that's sick. Vice Cartel, Vice Cartel is the only dance club in Jamaica, which is the Midnight Night Club. Oh, that's your club? A lot, of great, a lot of great artists have passed through the club. Huge story, a lot of great artists have passed through dance hall music. A lot of them are richer than Vice Cartel. None of them ever own a club giving back to dance hall music. No, it's not. I'm going to go to the club. Hold on. I'm going to go to the club. What's that? I'm going to go to the club. I'm going to go to the club. What's that? I'm going to go to the club. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right from June Plum from Oh, uh, uh, what, you own the building then? Yeah, we own the club. Oh, see, I never knew that, you know. I thought but it was I just... Me and my business partner, Corey Dunn. Oh, see. Bro, I never knew that. We have high room, we have unlimited double religion. I've fucked, we have a fucked on Balata Avenue. We have employed Jamaicans and we pay taxes. And um what kind of things are made in the factory? We make um white rum and red rum and overproof. Oh, okay, that's the street vans stuff then, the street vans. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh okay. Then. Our future endeavor is to own our own distillery. We actually make the rum because now we run from the same people that Jerry and everybody run from. See. Yes, we're not a backer wall, or come up, sunshine thing. Mm. We ain't run because now we run from the same people that Jerry and everybody run from. Mm. Yes, we're not a backer wall, or come up, sunshine thing. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a real thing. We have the condom. We recently put the condom business on hold because the room is doing so well. I know. Come back to what I'm saying about making money off myself and what people are saying about me. I have the cake soap coming out, white cartel cake soap, which is going to be actually a acne soap to get off acne and blemishes. Oh, in the... Yes. That's so what they're talking, I'm laughing all the way to the bank, which is where I'm driving to right now. <laughs> Mad. But, you know, yes, you should have got that clerk's deal, though, you know. I thought they did you wrong. So hold on, listen to this. I got my own shoes now. It's called Addis. And it's going to be released like early February. I got the samples from China like uh, about three weeks ago. Oh, serious? Yeah, we're making sneakers. Yeah, I swear. We're going to make sneakers. We're going to make casuals like the clubs. Making belt buckles, dog tags, t shirts. So, you know what I mean? We're just doing stuff. So, we have to have ice cards and I represent the Marvin Sparks. I don't know he has the talks that the ladies want. We no freedom, no bull book, no no big anchor. What for your army, what for your tanker? What for your awo, what for your awo? Marvin Park, you can't conquer. Hey, come touch me now, touch about my now. 
Come touch me now, touch about Anna. Come touch me now, touch about Anna. I'm in a bunny, 